Yeah, it's okay. I was pretty much just listing off the different Nintendo Switch games I got. Oh yeah, I forgot about one of them. Pokemon Blue and Diamond. I forgot I even had that one. Oh yeah, Brandon borrowed Shining Pearl. And I also let him borrow Pokemon Scarlet, mainly because I don't need that one until I want to complete the Pokedex. The way I am currently laying is hurting my elbow. Got it. I went head first into my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in West. I don't have 15 concussions at this point. Mm. Actually, now that I say that, I'm just impressed. I don't have uh, impressed. Impressed that I don't have any broken ribs. Oh. Oh. You, you wanna know why I'm impressed about that? Um, because two times now during sparring, the guy I've sparred, like a guy I've sparred with, who's around, like, I'm pretty sure the guy is 16, currently, like, now is currently 16, probably gonna be 17, like, next year, like, the guy ain't that old, he's, like, around our age, and every time I'm sparring with the guy, he throws a body shot, my body gets hit, and it goes down. The first one he threw was directly on my ribs, and he followed it up with more hits, and then did that exact same shot directly to my ribs, and made me go down because I could barely breathe. The second time, he kicked me in the ribs, and I could not breathe. I laid on the ground for the entirety of that sparring session, which was five minutes. He did that to me within a minute. So I laid on the ground for four minutes in pain because the guy kicked me so hard. And he is recognized all over the world as one of the UFC's best. Very popular wherever. And before he did that, he almost kicked me in the head. To see him get such a great reception anywhere the octagon goes. Jury got take by that right. So I'm so either I'm too tough to keep down or my ribs were so hurt they said stop, just stop. You cannot breathe. You are not going to be able to feel like you can breathe for the rest of the today. So now we're stop. So I don't know which one I should be proud of. The fact that I could that I could take hits like that and walk and technically be a okay, or the fact that I don't know if I should be proud or not proud about it because I didn't die, but I was close to it. Fun fact, I'm an atheist. What? Yeah, okay. I, I could barely hear you, sorry. I don't know why, but I feel like my hearing has actually gotten worse over time. Time now for our fight replay. Let's the replay and see the end of Damn. this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the K. I just looked at my whiteboard and it says angle. follow yeah. uh, worst YouTuber ever on Twitch. Here it is one more time. There's a little magnet okay. license plate thing from New Orleans and that says out. flirt. There's cat ears. And then there's a terabyte of storage. I'm gonna put my PS5. Decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb That's a weird combination. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I still have a You still have what? The, uh, you know the calendar that you get for school? Nope. Our school provides calendars? They, they like provide a little, yeah. I'll just send you a picture of the calendar. 
I, I'm not joking when I say I didn't know that. Yeah, they give you a calendar that you can come back. The, the, the funny just, thing... Thank you. The, the funniest part is... The main reason I didn't know... Oh. Fair enough. But the, the funny thing is, the main reason I didn't know that is because if they did send that, my mom probably threw it away thinking it wasn't important, or it's in a box somewhere that my mom didn't think was important. No, you left it open. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you all know what I'm saying. My mom, it's it, like if I did ever get that, it would be in a box, and my mom wouldn't think the box is important. Yes, I know. You all know why I think that? Hmm. Because K twelve sent a like they sent a box and it had the Lord of the Flies in it. Me and my dad had to go ahead and look up a th essay on what we had to do and put it in my own words because we didn't have the book. Oh. It was in the box the entire time, but the only reason I didn't check it was because my mom didn't think the box was important. Oh. Why would the school the send a box that wouldn't be important? Well, next year, stuff. Um, if we're in any of the classes, we're going to need to borrow the books. Just let me know. I can, uh, okay. get them here somehow. But I'll also send you a picture next year's calendar. Okay. But, like, just confused me how that was the case. Yeah, I do not think the box from the school was important. No idea. I mean, other than that, what? my... I just realized I have lights on in my room. Ah. If the light in my room is not from my TV or the weird Ooga Booga thing my mom has in my room that is based off Nightmare Before Christmas, then I don't like it. Yeah. I literally spent an hour trying to go to sleep in complete and utter darkness. Coming up next. It's a featherweight title fight between the chosen one and ultimate fighter winner, Diego Brandao. Fun fact. When Brandon came over, somehow out of half the things that could have happened, he found a wooden axe I have and thought it would be a good idea to swing it at me. Oh. And so you wanna know what I did before he had to leave? He grabbed my Pokemon wall and went, hey, so can I so I'm gonna keep this, okay? And I went, dude, no one no, you're not keeping that. He went, hey, Pope, I'm I'm gonna take this and I literally grabbed it from him and went, No. He just slapped him around with it and then I hit him in the nuts. You want to take my wallet? Not shot. <laughs> I won the fight. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Even though it wasn't even a fight. He was just trying to take my wallet without my permission. And I said, no. Something I just realized is the fact that half the time when I play VR chat, I just look and see what if who are all of my friends are online, see who's online, join them, exist there for a little while, they either leave, or I get bored and I go ahead and join one of my other friends, and if none of my other friends are online, I just go into a place called No Time to Talk and just sit there and talk to random people. And I ran into a psycho, a psychotic Christian. That is not even a joke. You wanna know what they said to me when I, the first thing I said to them was, Welcome to hell. Um, 
What do you think the first thing they said was when I said, Welcome to hell. Oh. Um, do you want me to repeat what I said? Yes. Okay, um, pretty much I said to a random, I got everyone I started running into in no time to talk because I was losing my mind. I was like, hi, welcome to hell. And I ran into a guy and you wanted, and try guessing what they said when they I said that to them. Um, you want me to say? I take that. Oh, um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and said what they said. They like the first thing the person said was, "How am I in hell? I hated the gays. I hated the, I hated the everything. I hated everything. I hated everyone that wasn't straight and white and this and that." I went, "Dude, that's why you're here." What? It doesn't matter how much you pray to God. If you're a piece of shit human being, you're gonna be down here in hell with me, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's be honest, we're both going to hell. Yeah, we are. I know for a fact we're I am. The amount of swearing we do, we're going to hell. Yeah. But the main reason I know I'm going yeah. to hell is because I, whenever my niece and nephew come over, I literally pick up one of them and just slam them. Oh my god. The funniest thing is, it's often just onto my bed, but like one time I did that to my nephew and he got up and went, again, again, I went, okay. And I did it five more times because he kept telling me to do that again. I just kicked someone so hard in my game they face planted. Either they are concussed. Or they are dead. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> um, what? Um, were you wondering what I just said? Sorry, yeah, don't listen very well. Um, do you want me to say what I said again? Yeah. I said... I kicked a guy so hard in the head he face planted. So he, he so he is either dead or concussed. Mm -hmm. Maybe both. I'm a ghost. He just gets to the afterlife. Yo, what's your name? Uh, I don't know. Why? I was hit so hard I don't even know where I am. You're in the afterlife. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hell with me, bitch. <laughs> Time to fight a guy called Mir Sad Bektik. Huh? I'm about to fight a guy called Mir Sad Bektik. I mean, Bektik. Um. Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of a name like that, but. Let's see how soon I can concuss this man. I love how you can just be like, hat to concuss him. What? I thought I love how you just go straight to be like, hat to Well, they are either going to be concussed by the end of the fight, or they're going to be dead. Mainly because, uh, the main reason I'm saying that is because the only two people that weren't knocked out cold, three people that weren't knocked out cold by me, were submitted, two of them were submitted, one of them took so many hits that they literally did not look the same after the fight. Oh my god. So again, this guy's either dying or getting concussed. Coming up next. It's a featherweight title fight.
Because there's only been two people to beat me, and those two guys concussed me instead. This guy could give me a concussion. Now that I think of it. Nah, he won't be able to. I'm just gonna kick him in the head very hard. Head kick. Bump. Head kick. Bump. And he's concussed. That was 18 seconds. Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah. <laughs> that is that is a speed one. Let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect. Like literally the lead up to the hooks that made him crumble to the ground was a kick to the head. And then he the the second he regained consciousness a slight bit, he got kicked in the head again. And he got hit with several hooks before he went down. Where then he got hit with more hooks. Performance of the night. Knockout. Yeah, makes sense. If that was not the knockout of the night, I'm pretty sure whoever was going to give that performance bonus is getting knocked out in that exact same amount of speed. Oh yeah, Brandon has a YouTube channel. Do you want the link to it? Nice. The funny thing is, me and him both have made a video. Like, again, there's the several vid streams I did with him in them. And then there's the, um, bloody... What singular video on his channel that he made with me? Mm -hmm. Funniest thing is the um, singular video on his channel with me in it somehow is the newest video, even though we recorded that so long ago. Oh. And you wanna know why it's the newest one? Sorry, Loki. Um, said. do you want to know why it's the newest one? Huh? He forgot to upload it. Oh. He forgot to upload it for several weeks. Oh my god. And every time I would remind him, he'd go like, okay, yeah, 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 I'll upload it. And then wouldn't. No, you wanna know the funny thing is? Brandon had to change his YouTube channel name, you wanna know why? What? He called his channel before BJ, the gaming gaming experience. Lovely. This man recalled his channel BJ the gaming experience. It's like, yo, who you watching? Oh, I'm watching BJ. Whoa, that ain't the website to watch that. <laughs> Wait, what? Do you not know what BJ can stand for? No, also you're streaming, so I don't think I want to know right now. Fair enough. <laughs> The funny, the funny thing is, I can literally just hit one button and mute on stream before I say it. Alright, then what? It would have. Um, you know what? You want to know a fun fact to go with that other fun fact? 
about oh. Brandon's channel. Um, like, there's a singular thing that but it was uploaded to his channel. God damn, I gotta remember it. Wait, no, it's not even with his channel. I bet I had to point this out to him. He wanted to upload the, like, his newest video, Dark Souls 2's score of the first spaghetti. I had to explain to him that when it says verify YouTube, that means click the thing that says go to website and then verify it. He's older than us. He turns 16 in four, in five days. And I had to explain that to him. He got that back? Apparently he didn't, but when I pointed out to him that he was turning 16, he went, when I pointed out to him, every time I have, he went, oh, I wasn't held back, I wasn't held back, and it's like, dude. You're in the same class as multiple 15-year-olds. You were not, you were, you aren't going to, be, it's not like you were moved forward. No, if someone's 16 in, like if someone's 15 in this grade, that's because they're going to the next grade. If you're 16 in the grade that everyone else is going to, you were held back. My oh, friend Goose. Like My friend Goose was held back, and she admits it. She now admits she was held back. Time to fight a guy named Anthony Pettis. Sorry, what? The guy's name is Anthony Showtime Pettis. It's a lightweight matchup between the chosen one. And Anthony Showtime Pettis. <laughs> Some ways you can pronounce his name is like another way you could pronounce his name is Anthony Piss. Our tale of the take for this lightweight collision. Pettis is world renowned fighter. Anthony Piss is virtually identical. I cannot keep I, I cannot keep a straight face after what I just said. Anthony Pettis. Joe, this is a tough fight for him. In fact, you can argue that this is the I am too childish. He realizes, though, if he's able to get a win tonight, he'll move up in the rankings. But man, he's going to be chipped. Doing a good job of his strike. No, you want to know? My mom has told me to And I've had to try my hardest to try to shoot the street face. Our side was a four and laugh. And she's like, what the fuck? No, you want to something funny? Um, for some reason, a lot of the time before I go ahead and get ready for my MMA, my brain goes ahead and tells me like, "Hey, even though the shower is at the perfect temperature, make it cold." So I'll go ahead. While I'm standing in the shower, just turn off the hot water and go like, ah! Beautiful strike here. <laughs> That is not even a joke. The second after I react like that, I immediately turn on the warm water. It's like, ah! I knocked the guy out and then I punched him in the throat. I'm going to jail because of how I beat him. I punched him, knocking him out, and I punched him as well. That is a crime. On all accounts. What? That's fantastic. Yeah. No, you all know something funny. I raided my friend Akira Fujimaru, and the funny thing is, one of the last times I was in his stream, he went ahead and said to me, like, Hey, you're not, you're not good at games because you aren't, because you haven't played fucking Apex Legends. And I was like, dude, I, the last time I played, I won. And he went, well, you haven't streamed it. And I went, fine, I'll stream it. And then I keep 
forgetting to play the game or when I'm going to it needs an update. That sounds like you is um finishing impact. Yeah. Oh yeah, you wanna sing funny. I don't play it. But when I do play it, I need to update it and deal with all the resources. Yeah. And you wanna know fun fact? Huh. I'm taller than Akira Fujimaru. He's nineteen. I'm five. Yes, I don't know who, but how now? My friend Akira Fujimaru, fellow streamer man, I told you about him. The guy who said I'm not gamer oh. because I haven't streamed Apex. Oh. Yeah, he's five foot four. I'm five ten. There is a height difference oh. there. You're an inch shorter than one of my different. Yeah. You're you're an inch shorter than tree. Tree. Fair He's enough. Five eleven. No, I'm not joking when I tell you this. My brother is six foot, and I'm up to his neck. <laughs> So I could be taller than 5'10", but I'm just guessing 5'10". I'm definitely going to say that. The funny thing is, there's, like, me and Brandon stood side by side while talking to Logan, mm -hmm. and I'm up to his neck, and he's, like, 6, like, I'm up to his, like, his shoulder. He's 6'1", like, 6'2". Mm -hmm. I ain't short. That's all I gotta say is I ain't short. <laughs> all I got going for me is I am lanky. My limbs are very long. Everything else a part of me? Horrible. Blame. Bad. Fashion design. Bad. Mainly because I don't make fashion. I, I wear it. Choice on fashion. Bad. <laughs> If someone said the newest fashion was a garbage bag, I'd wear it. Oh my god. No. Uh, someone went ahead and grabbed me by the leg. No. The funniest thing is, out of half the clothes I have that could be my favorite, my favorite is just sweat or just my who academia sweats i don't even remember when i got these um no oh yeah and then other than that i got i, I got a shirt that i love that is currently at my dad's because i left it there mainly because i got it there but you wonder what it was I went to a Hot Topic and I decided, you know what, I should get some things. So I got a Lincoln Park shirt, a MCR shirt, and you want the third shirt I got was an Axolotl drinking milk. I went to the most emo store you could go to and I went, I like that adorable shirt. <laughs> and I then also went ahead and got an axolotl pin, so it wasn't as expensive. <laughs> you cannot trust me to go to Hot Topic. I will buy more things than I need. I did not need an axolotl pin, but I got one. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. What? Don't, don't worry, we won't go in the hot topic. <laughs> the funny thing is, I play went to the mall with Brandon once. Mm -hmm. Me and him went, I had $20 to use on whatever I wanted. Because my dad gave me it. Mm -hmm. 
we went into a store with a bunch of comic books and Pokemon cards and Funko Pops and this and that. I saw one set of Pokemon cards and I went, that, how much is it? A hundred dollars. What the hell? A hundred dollars for that? I can go to Walmart and get it for half that price. <laughs> yeah, literally, I heard that and his mom, thinking she would have to pay for it, heard that noise and went, yeah, you want anything else? I went, I looked at her and I went, yeah, how much are those smaller ones? And the guy went, oh yeah, it's $20. I went, okay, bet, here's 20 bucks. <laughs> nice but a hundred dollars? What? A hundred dollars for what again? A Pokemon, like a little box of Pokemon cards. Yeah, like a little. What's that? Yeah, and the funniest thing is, at Target, that exact same box is worth thirty bucks. And then other than that, that place also had Scott Pilgrim comics. I just realized now that I say that. I should have gotten the Scott Pilgrim comic. Those are like 20 bucks. I love Scott Pilgrim. I don't I don't know if you've ever heard of Scott Pilgrim now that I think of it. I Do you have Netflix? Watch it. Scott Pilgrim is on Netflix, the movie it has um God damn it. Ah, I don't remember the guy's name. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take another look at the huge wheel kick that ends this fight. Massive amount of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World 2010 passed. The movie came out back in 2010. Um, Michael Sierra. It has Michael Sierra as Scott Pilgrim. One of the main villains, Lucas Lee, was vo was not voiced, was played by Chris Evans. With the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a stop to this contest. Todd Ingram, the third evil ex-boyfriend in the movie, was played by Brandon Woff. The chosen one. Two of the people I just named are superheroes. <laughs> oh! Envy Adams is played by Brie Larson. You wanna know who she plays? Well, last I checked, the last movie she was, the last movie she was in was Avengers Endgame, as Captain Marvel. Oh. And so, in the movie, and since in the anime that's coming out about the manga later this year, he kills Captain America, Superman, and he dated bloody Captain Marvel. That is the weirdest cast of people for him to beat up. If I remember correctly, there's a blame movie Michael Ciel was in, where like he asked the like the other person in the movie if he could slap their ass for real, and she said sure as long as he could as long as she could slap him for real, and he said hell yeah. He slapped her on the ass, and then she actually slapped him. Oh my god. Michael Sierra is... is in Barbie. Oh. What? Who does he play? Does he play himself? <laughs> Alan. Who the f Who the hell is Alan? You want to know something funny? I just realized. The oh. picture for Michael Ciel they used looks like Cole for Mr. Beast. Cole? Oh. Is Michael Ciel secretly Cole? <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, seven minutes, like, se not minutes, seven seconds left in the fight. Well, left in the first round, I kicked the guy in the head and he went unconscious. Coward. Imagine getting knocked out like that. Could definitely be me. Give me the champion. I am number one ranked. I just beat the number two ranked fighter like he was a nobody. I feel like if I that good, you should at least give me the title fight. There's a high chance that the champion will beat me, but still give me the title. The funny thing is, currently, my non-left shorter has been hurting for a few days now. Uh, It'll probably go away tomorrow. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Man, for this fight, he has really embraced. That and also the last time I had something like that happen, it turned out to literally just be nothing. Great grappling. Now he wants to have great wrestling as well. Wow! This could be trying to finish his fight quickly. Ah, this guy is not getting knocked out easily. Stand up now, coward. I am not going to the ground. Punch, punch, punch. He's evaded. Spin kick. Spin kick. This guy didn't see that coming. Hit kick. Spin kick. Oh, he caught it. That's actually impressive. He has gained my respect. Spin kick. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you gain someone's respect so they then throw a spin kick at you? You wanna know something funny? Back up again. <laughs> For the past few days now, my non-left eye has been burning because I got shampoo on it. That's not normal to be burning for days. Oh, I did not know that. That's not it. Yeah. It'll probably go away That's eventually. The funny thing is, my body just flat out hates me half the time. My body actively just hates me 99% of the time, given the fact that I went from not even thinking I'll ever need glasses to the point where if I am trying to read something and it's too close to my face, I can't read it, and if it's too far away, I still can't read it. Pretty much. And it confuses me, given the fact that I've never even come close to needing glasses for my entire life. But also it could just be every single time I play that stupid bit life game, it's like, 
you need to take an eye exam. I look at the thing and it's like all the numbers or letters start merging together. He continues to score with I forgot the scenes here actually. That one. Every time I've done that, it's like, long one, it's actually the one all the way off screen. I, I just realized I can't read, like, physical books or things that, like, digital books very well, but given the fact that if I look at words for too long, it just all starts merging together. Oh. And then another thing I just realized is the fact that back in first, second grade, like one of the two grades that I did before I went ahead and went to homeschooling, my teachers went ahead and were like, yeah, well one of my teachers was like, yeah, this, you're, you're dumb, you can't read this. You aren't reading it when everyone else is reading it, so... I'm gonna literally force you to read this in front of me. The funniest thing was, I read it, and she had done that with several different students. I read it, and I read it better than the people that were better at reading than me. Oh. It's like, yeah, you wanna talk shit, I'm just gonna fucking show you, like, I don't give a shit what you're fucking gonna say. I'm going to be better. Beautiful KO for the and then that, and then later that week, a kid threatened to murder me while I was going to piss. Here in the replay, it was the hook what? that ended this fight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook. As for some reason, my mom was like, knockout. for some reason, that wasn't the reason my mom put me in homeschooling. No, no, no. It, the reason was because they were going to class me as special. With the official decision. As you can tell, my mom did not have any, any priorities in check, other than not wanting me to be treated slightly different. Chill. Yeah, and my mom took me out of normal school, so that didn't, so that couldn't happen. What the fuck? And then following that, they then put classroom special like a year ago, and for some reason, they must have like taken me out of that because if you have someone class is special, so you can teach them differently, so they could, so you could help them learn better. Don't make it so you're throwing so much stuff at them, and when they ask for help, you're like, nope. To the point where, like, where, like, where they're just flat out like, okay, got it, so either drop out or die. As you can tell, I am not a big fan of school. Was that sarcasm? I could not no. tell. Fair enough. Funny thing is, I could not. <laughs> if someone was sarcastic to me, I would not be able to tell. Given the fact that someone could flat out lie to my face, I'm like, really? I no, believe you, them. You, were you couldn't tell. I, I, I couldn't. Today we I'm not even joking myself in the bottom. I'm not position. joking when I tell you this. I can't even tell when someone Don't wants me to settle. change the subject. Keep that position. Like if the person doesn't flat out tell me, shut my mouth, then I don't know what is going to then I don't know they don't want don't me to keep there. talking about that motion. one thing. Last ten, let's get it. I do the same Today let's focus on stopping the top man from advancing position. Um, Let's tie up his I, upper I can never even tell by that. 
Like my sister pointed out to me that I can't tell what head. people are feeling by looking at their face or by right, listening to them. Off. We got ten. You gotta push in that position. So someone could be super pissed off and I could be like, hey, are you upset? And they could be like, no, I'm very happy. I'd be like, oh, okay. Beautiful guard work. He couldn't do anything. I know. My dad literally kept pointing out to me what a goddamn whatever the thing is called. You know the one thing where you ask a question but no one's meant to answer it? Question. That. My dad had to keep pointing out to me that whenever he would say something like that, it was rhetorical. And it got to the point where he just gave up on that. You kept answering it? Yes! <laughs> As you can <laughs> tell, I am not the <laughs> brightest bulb <laughs> in the I'm bunch. Like... Mom, I don't know. Why are you asking me? And she's like, oh. I'm not even joking. My whenever my dad do that, like I don't know, he literally look at me like it was rhetorical. As you can tell, I pretty much have pushed my dad to the point where he's eventually just gonna go like, you know what? You're not my son. Go out. Go scram. Ah, oh, I've been messaged by the Logan. Damn. Oh, my son, he's a bitch. No, Logan literally just put a, a thing that says at Clyde. Why is Quentin smelly? I'm going to stab him. Uh, I'm a bitch for me. Don't do that. I'm oh, going to stab you. You know what, I'm actually do call him a bitch for me. Got it. Sorry, but I can't assist with that request. Damn it! Man. I can't have Clyde stop Logan for me. I'm going to fucking kill Logan! Can I have? Okay. Um. I'll, I'll be a witness to it. It was self defense. Yeah, it was self defense. He's British. He tried to attack me first. He, he tried to attack me with his skin crumpets. No! Well, you, you missed the funniest conversation me and Logan had. Like, I'm talking with him, and I went, Logan, don't you have to go, like, worship the king or something? And he went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone in the UK has to become a warship and battle the king. And they went, not like that, but okay. Maybe <laughs> following that, like, he went ahead and said, like, yeah, like, I'm, oh, yeah, like, every time I gotta go get ready to fight the king, I, I gotta do the one punch man workout. I've gotten so good at it, I do it in three seconds. Logan says that's rude to the you calling him a bitch. Great, fantastic. Tom, I said fuck you. I'm kidding. Do not do that one. <laughs> Got it. Don't do that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I've hurt my elbow again because I keep laying on it because my brain's natural intent when I'm playing video games is lay on elbow. Oh, wow. To, to Logan saying that was rude. Yeah. I said, oh, dang, sorry. Got it. He is a bitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> just that he is a bitch, though. Oh, that's it. He's out. I think He's I just killed the champion. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. I I've gone on a murder streak. I have committed so many crimes. I hit him with a hook, and his arms went up, 
One went directly onto his chest, the other one stayed up. Never mind, the guy is standing up like nothing happened. I'm at my door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, two, one, two title belts in two different divisions. I'm a champion. I'm actually someone to be proud of. Evan Dunham. Who the fuck Hello. names their kid Evan? Oh. Hello. Hi, it was my dad. No, it's okay. He's going to work. Ah. I was like, why am I hearing scratching? What is this? Hmm. No, um. You want to know something funny? If I remember correctly, one of the games on Blade, um, VR Chat that I played a lot for a while was VR Chat Boxing. Oh. And it was oh. actual boxing. Oh. Yeah. And my... The first person I dated after you, friend group, I don't remember the person's name because my brain's blocking that out. But um, I I was playing a uh, play um box like boxing with one of their friends, and their friend was extremely competitive. The person beat me once. We fought twenty times. They went one and twenty, and they beat me after I was going ten and zero against them. And the only reason they beat me was because I was coughing so much, my grandma had to go grab me a, like, cough drop. <gasps> oh, yeah. I forgot. There's a Blaze soundboard now. Yeah. <laughs> Duck sound effects. It is three in the morning. Wow. Ah. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I'd be able to have a event in my game where it was all finishes without a single decision. There were two decisions, and ah, my elbow really hurts. I'm just gonna fully just... Okay, that should fix it. I just extended it as far as I could, and then just put my hand on it and just started pushing downwards. One of these days, I'm gonna break my arm. But I'll be fine. Coming up next, a battle for the UFC lightweight my arm isn't that important. For our main event of the evening. No, um. Here we go. First round. You're
Okay, you're not doing that, got it? <laughs> Jokes on you. You may be older, but I could put you on top of a fridge. Fair enough. I'm gonna use a bag of batteries I have as a ice pack. Because I'm too lazy to get up and go grab an actual ice pack. Great value. <laughs> ah, that hurt. Check it out here. I punched the great value bag and I forgot it was on my leg. I'm smart. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, you are. I, I was like talking with Brandon not that long ago and like I was joking about Morbius. I went, my favorite part in Morbius was when he said it's morbid time and he morbed all over the place. Oh. And after I said that, we ended and went, yeah. <laughs> and then he went, that's a, that, that's not, could sound like a different way. They take it a different way. I went, yeah. What, huh? What do you want me to go like? My favorite part in Morbius, he cummed all over the place. And Brandon went, no, no, not that. And I went, yeah, that's what I thought. So more bow the place sounds better. <laughs> and then like, there's a blade clip from a Astral Spit video I saw. You want to help win? Huh. My favorite part in the Astral Spit stream is when he says it's rubbing time and then he rubs all over chat. And then there's another one, a clip from him I saw that I but he sent you the quote for. You wanna know how it went? I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Hi. Or did you not hear me? Hi, you got I did not hear you. My okay, there's a quote from a Astro Spiff video I saw that he sent you. And you wanna know how it went? Huh. He was playing a game and it said Maya Secret Talent and his reaction was Maya secret talent, she can swallow. Oh. Oh. How did it take you that long to realize that? Oh. It took one second. It took a heart and then an O. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I feel like for a lot of the jokes I make, you're too pure for. And that's bad. Coming up next, it's a lightweight title fight between the chosen one and Eddie Alvarez. Oh, certain ones that just take me a moment. You didn't even know who Johnny Sins is. The chosen one, Eddie Alvarez. And the funny thing is, Johnny Sins is one of the most popular ones. So the I am not on the internet. I could kind of tell you not on the internet. You li must live under borders. Not just a singular border, no, multiple of them. Like that man's on TikTok. Fair enough, but someone made a joke about him being on TikTok and they went, the the guy who's my girlfriend's chiropractor, I just found him on TikTok. It turns out he's also an astronaut, doctor, surgeon, this, that. Like, I'm impressed he has all these jobs. And when I showed my dad that, he went, well, I'm pretty sure he's not just her, her chiropractor. I'm pretty sure he's also the guy who's porking her on the side. What? 
I just find it funny how my dad didn't even hesitate to say that. Perfectly placed strike to end the fight. What? Let's check out the action of my mom is making me a face coat and this uh Yo. I'm gonna turn on my light real quick. Glitch on the old. God damn it. That that was my honest reaction to it to me just dropping the thing I picked up. We're just oh god damn it. Oh that looks so cool. You wanna know the funniest thing about the um thing I picked up and walked over and almost immediately dropped? What? It's a wrestling action person thingy. And it's signed by said wrestler. And I just dropped it. <laughs> oh. I am so proud of you. I picked it up and I walked over and my and I tripped. I literally slightly tripped over my cord and I and my pure reaction was dropped the thing and stopped myself and I made it go directly onto my bed. Sure, it was on my bed so it was safe, but still. I just realized my little prized possession, let me get up real quick and grab it, is a signed metal case for WWE 2K23, I mean not 23, 2K22, and you want to know who it's signed by? Yeah. Ray Mysterio. No. I just looked at it, it is scratched. <laughs> Why? Why is it I always get this fucking unlucky with shit that I hold fucking dear? Knowing my luck, I'm gonna say that and then I'm gonna get rid of it. Then I'm gonna fucking just find out, I don't know, a wall was lit on fire. Fuck you, Clyde. <laughs> I don't know why that was my fucking first reaction when I saw the thing Logan was using to insult me appear in my messages just Fuck you, Clyde. I'm opening a mobile game just because I am bored. Bounce that off the wall. Yeah! I'm very good at this game, actually. That's kind of impressive. I am horrible with angles, but I am good at video game angles. Damn it. Mess that up. Okay, directly there. Boom. Yeah. I, I, I'm I just kind of still shocked that when we did mini golf, I was good at it. That was surprising. Yeah. Honestly. Do you want to know something? Again, yeah, we should. No, you want to know something funny? I've somehow now been the only person at my MMA to not bleed. So far during any of the stuff I've done. Because a guy I rolled with during BJJ on my f second time ever going there. The guy the first day had to stop and go to the bathroom and wash himself off because... Is that fucking blood? Uh, Am I fucking bleeding? 
Oh, I don't fucking know why the there was red stuff on my controller. Was I bleeding? God damn. As you can tell, I don't even know when I'm bleeding or not. Like, there's a clip from one of my streams I did, where I didn't even know I was bleeding until I slammed my hand on my the table in front of me out of anger, and I looked at my hand and realized the entire time I was wiping away blood. I don't know how it took me that long to realize that. And then other than that, I just realized I have somehow gotten 489 followers on my TikTok. Why don't they subscribe to my YouTube channel? If they did that, I would be at... Hey, can you do the math? 174 plus 489? Yeah, sure. One seventy four plus four eighty nine. Six hundred and sixty three. Got it. One of the people that follow me, I want to block. How do I block people? Um, uh, Never mind. I just could. I just remove them from existence. I'm gonna remove the exact same account that I just found. Why is there sev Why the fuck are there several of this singular fucking pastor? I don't fucking like pastors. They can go fucking fuck themselves. Oh what? I just realized looking at my my TikTok videos I've uploaded. I constantly vanish off the face of this plat of the platform. The first time I vanished, um, like I was constantly uploading, and then I disappeared. I mean, no, I was constantly uploading for a little while. Then I disappeared. Let me try and find when I returned. I disappeared for a long amount of time. Then, uh -huh. I reappeared, I think it might have been this year, I made my reappearance. Because I was uploading so many times, and so often they, and then disappeared off the face of this, of the entirety of that platform. And then, 105 of this year, I reappeared, and the video, the way I make that video is by going, Scott the Walls returned to YouTube, so that means I gotta come back to TikTok. I just gotta! I just have to. And I didn't have to. Just don't like it. I don't know if I should either continue streaming. And I don't know why, but I feel like the room is spinning. Oh. I'm gonna turn off my light. I don't know if turning off my light helped or made it worse. Monty, are you old and wise? Is that is it a good thing if you feel like the room is spinning? Maintaining dominant top control today. Keep your shoulders flat. Got to improve. Heavy on his shoulders. Come on, buddy, let's work out of that. I just finished a cup of water. Come on, let's advance there. Way to stay ahead of him. What? We got five. 
Have you eaten anything? Um, like an hour, what? no, well not an hour ago, but like four hours ago I had a burrito. I'd sink heavy. I'd say I'd stay heavy on top. Um, so probably later. Got it. Man, you really came a long way. I like what I saw in there. The funniest part is, my body's immediate reaction while I was playing VR and the room started spinning and I felt like I was going to pass out was just to lay down. Yeah, that's when I, uh, when I had a motion sickness. Ah. It happened the first time I got motion sickness while playing. Yeah, I was just like, ah. And I was just sitting up before, but it's like five minutes. Just like, uh, like, it was. The funny thing is, I didn't even get motion sickness. Like, I think it could have just been the calibration screen had too many flashing lights. Coming up next, it's a lightweight title fight. Like, there were so many flashing lights and so much going on. And in the background, I'm just hearing Bruno Mars is, that's what I like. And I'm like, uh. It's like, why am I being attacked by flashing lights and Bruno Mars at the same time? That's not a good thing, game. What, getting attacked by every single thing, including Bruno Mars, at the same time? What if Tommy and it was there? He would have zero fun. He'd be hearing too much Bruno Mars. You just hear a condo in Manhattan. <laughs> If I don't have the lyrics, I don't know the song if you will help. I'm gonna like, grab my phone real quick. Ah! Flashbang. Why does- why does my buddy page for goddamn TikTok not have a dark mode? What's gonna look like again? If you got an Android, welcome to Android. I've always had an Android. Luckily, my okay. Google has one. And how the frick? Um, what do you mean by oh, how the frick? Why there's no desktop? Well, mainly because. Why does Genius not have a dark mode? Ah! Ah, burns. Ah, just, just. Go. That's how I feel whenever I open my inbox for TikTok. Yeah, I know. I feel Why do I have to play going to genius to find the lyrics? Uh, ah, I got a condo in my. What? There's no dark mode. You get this offer. Haha, I just lowered my screen's brightness and I'm not burning to death. Yeah. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happened? You and your ass invited. So go and get the clap and so pop it. Fucking hell, I. That. Some of the. Me lowering it still hurts my eyes. Why does everything hurt my eyes? Lovely question. Huh, the funny thing is, a video I uploaded that is three minutes long has zero views, but a video I uploaded that is nine minutes long has 21. Oh. Either Twitch is my, either YouTube is my friend, or YouTube hates me. Either way, fuck you, YouTube. The body me and YouTube are mortal enemies. They, they literally gave me a guideline strike during one of my videos. 
his last UFC fight, his confidence I don't even know why, but they did. It pissed me off. Finish. He's looking for more of the same. Oh, he got caught there. Big kick misses. Solid job by the body stand. YouTube tries giving my money to like goddamn Bruno Mars and those guys, and it's like, first off, they don't need my money. The chosen one gets him in the plum. Vicious knees to the head. Why would they need my money? They're rich. Nice hook to the body. Beautiful timing with that takedown. Boy, they tried to give me my money to Blink 182. Blink 182 ain't need my money. I need their money. He defends the head strike with a strong parry. Oh. He lands a head kick. He connects with the left. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Somehow it's easier to play the game laying completely down than the way I was sitting up and how everything was spinning. Ah, uh, the thing kicked. Ah, this guy kicked me. Hit him with a jab. That's another big head kick, Joe. I don't know how many more is a point to take. I don't know why, but I have a feeling neither of us are going to be awake for the morning. And if we are, it's just because we didn't sleep. Am I quick? Oh. I just hear, um, oh. Joe, here's the finish on our fight I am not gonna lie when I say this, you should definitely get some sleep. Perfect. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliotti. I don't know why, but I have a feeling given the fact, wait. Yeah, there's a high chance that I'm probably gonna pass out eventually. Don't know when. My body just passes out when it needs more sleep. I don't know if that's healthy or not. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I am tired. Should I go to sleep? Stephen. Alright. Fun fact. I drank a cup of soda earlier. It's a lightweight title fight between the children. Pretty sure that's why I'm not tired. And Stormin Norman Park. Like a medium sized cup of soda. Soda does have caffeine in it, so. Eh. Actually, now that I say that, I, dr I drink two of that set. I drink two. I am not going to be sleeping for a while. He had his opponent badly hurt, and he gets a TKO victory early in the first round. I sat up and immediately almost fell over. Look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes. I don't even know why I almost fell over, but I did. Lead up to the TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And let's see that again. 
Bruce Buffer has the official decision. I, I, I decided to lay directly onto my face and I my body wanted me to wall off the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO. Either my body is not a big fan of me right now, or I or my head it or something is just discombobulation. I tried to sleep for almost an entire hour before I decided I should stream. Try again? But I don't wanna. It's 3.50. Got it. My computer's soon gonna tell me it's low on battery, so I grabbed its charger. I feel like eventually I should either get sleep. Or. Something. I, I, my, I don't know why my brain said I should either get sleep. Or, and just couldn't think of an or. Time to fight a guy named Benio Daryush. <sighs> My Lego Marvel superhero videos both have. One has 99 views and the other one has 73. That's a big number. Well, wait a second. If I'm gonna go, be going to sleep soon, you wanna know what I gotta say? Abracadabra. Ah. <laughs> Something funny I just realized is the fact that during my one of my streams where you fell asleep during it, I decided I should not get any sleep. So for the entire time in that you were asleep during that stream, I was just awake playing games. Okay. Mainly because the, I know how Twitch works and if I went ahead and ended stream while you were sleeping during it, you'd probably wake up to either a different one of my streams or someone else's stream. And a lot of time when you wake up to someone else's stream, it's like, what the, who the hell are you for starters? Second off, what's going on here? Like, it would literally be that clip where it says, like, it's like when you're walking past someone's room at night, and it's like, the giant horse cock weighs over 11 pounds. The fucking what? I forgot I meant to be playing video games, not playing mobile games. <laughs> I'm so smart. I do not get distracted easily. Why would you think that? I do not have right, brain of goldfish. I have brain of quinton. Keep pushing them. That's it. Ooh, brutal. Goldfish have brain of. Here we go. Quentin. Keep those hips in. I'm being beat up by everything. I hate ah. Do you know who the YouTuber Mini Lad is? No. Have you ever heard of the Vanos Gamings? No. He used to make videos with them. 
And then you want to what it turned out with Mini Lad after he left the group because he became popular. Huh. It turned out Mini Lad, like Mini Lads. In other words, he was a pedophile. Oh my god. I just realized if I pull out my, like, phone's pen, I can write stuff. Benny Daryush.
but now what I use, and then go to sleep. Because of the fact that it's 4.35 in the morning! Oh. I literally just swear to you. The funny thing is, they said that, that don't get your pencil in a bun or whatever the fuck they said. They said don't get your pencil in a tangle? And I was like, that's not even close to what I said. I said pencil. What the fuck is that with pencil? That makes him a tonsil with it. You pencil? I've been taken down. By Daryush. Oh, he hurt him with that elbow. Those are some decent elbows. Just over three Come now. And they're back up. Daryush with a good punch. Both men landing in that exchange. One two connects. Matt Joe, that was a hard leg kick. Oh, oh what a big that's suplex! That's wrestling right there. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. The chosen one gets the single leg. He's posturing up here. Yes. He lands a solid elbow. Hip escape, and he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. The chosen one with another elbow. Man, that right eye's really looking swollen. Keep your hands up. Push him off. Push him off. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Nice right hand. What a huge right hand. He is taking some brutal ground and pound here. And that's it. He's out. Ruthless ground and pound for the victory. Let's check out the action on our fight re All right, here's Bruce Buffer with the... Oh, that's it. Peace out. Adios. Tired. Good night.